everybody welcome back so I'm in my truck right now and uh, I did a vlog about a year to two years ago I can't remember exactly when but it was a vlog I did a while ago and uh, I went and seen the trout run so trout coming out of Lake Erie um, so sorry about the Sun but I'm in my truck it's running you can hear it purring I don't know if you can or not but it's going good and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go there and uh, check it out so this is just a little short video going to check them out but it's about a 35 minute drive from here so yeah should be cool so it warmed up a little bit today still not too warm but warmed up enough so we're gonna head out and go see if we can catch some trout well not catch them but catch them on film at least <laughs> I don't know what I'm filming next but yep see you then Hey guys, I just got here. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes. Um, I took a lot of wrong turns and uh, finally I got here. So it looks amazing right now. You can see the all the ice in the slush. That's Lake Erie, by the way. Um, see, it's a vast, oh, vast lake. So, wow. You can hear the seagulls and everything. Now, I'm hoping there's trout right here. Holy cow, there's tons. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at that. Now, keep in mind, this is freezing cold air coming through. See all the seagulls? And I was here, I did a video the other year, and there are a lot of trout right now. Like, I think this is like the, the main time to look at them. Here's a sign. They're steelhead. Um, but if you look, you see all those? Those are all steelhead. All of them. All of them. Every single one of them are steelhead. See all those tails? See all those tails? Those aren't ripples, those are tails. See them? Goes all the way back and then see what they're doing is they're coming out of Lake Erie and they're running up the creek so they're coming out of that coming up this creek well this is trout run and uh, then they get up there so and they jump this as well and they do this every year like I've been here twice before now and it's just amazing. It's not as cold as last time. Last time it was a lot colder. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, there's Lake Erie. It's just completely vast. Completely vast. Look at all that melting. It's crazy. Looks like we're in the Arctic. <laughs> but that's Lake Erie. So it's crazy how many trout are in here right now you can stand here at least look right there you see them right there is that crazy Think how cold that water is that they're in all the time oh. they're still there but all the way back down there is Full of steelhead. Look at that. A lot of water. It just started melting today, so they're getting a lot of water. A lot of them will probably get up today. Um, but if you look, <laughs> look at them all. Wow. So we're going to walk down a little bit. Hopefully, I don't slip on the ice but let me get down a little further and I'll film again look at them all <laughs> it's crazy they don't look too terribly big in the water but when you pull them out they are massive absolutely massive so and this isn't that far from my house like if I would have come the right way and used GPS in the first place I would have been here uh, in like 35 minutes 
but here's one. Uh, he's just swimming right there. Oh, you see that? Uh, here's where they're trying to climb up a bit. So let's watch it a second. Let's see if any come up. They'll come flying right up that rock. Come on, someone do it for the camera. <laughs> no takers right now. But, wow. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more than when I was last year. Because when I was last year, um, there was barely this many. Like, there was a couple hundred, not like this, so this is thousands of them. So, got to be careful walking here. I got my Crocs on. No socks, of course, but honestly, that view of the lake, uh, we'll go look a little closer, but look here. Just full of them. You guys can't see too well. Oh, there's a dead one. Right there. See him? White outline. <laughs> there's ducks down there. Look at them. <laughs> See all those trout though? That's all trout coming up. Well, I call them trout, but their main, you know, their name's Steelhead, so. I always refer to them as trout though. But look at that. Wow. Okay, we'll have to stop back up, but I'm gonna head down to the beach area down where they're coming in from Lake Erie, and we'll check it out down there. But you guys can see like, the contrast, it's uh, its nice out. It'll be dark soon here, but we're gonna take a walk down this way. And uh, <laughs> I, I do have my big camcorder right now, so it's kinda awkward. And I'm getting used to holding it this way, cause usually I have it on a tripod, so. Okay. Uh, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. anglers have to be away. Yep, it's very protected. Um, if anyone tried to do anything, because they're right there, they're within arm's reach. Um, if anyone tried to do anything, they'd immediately get caught. There's so much surveillance here, which is good. Um, but if you can see, I'm not getting too close there. I don't want to freeze my feet off, but they are all through there. See them? All through there running up. So, all right, let's walk down a little more. And actually, uh, Fish USA, the fishing brand, their main store and building where they make stuff is right around here. So, if, depends on what time I'm out of here, I might be able to stop. Here we go. This would be a good shot. Uh, you can see them right here. <laughs> Look at their fins. Look at that. <laughs> and there's, there's just, there's one male and one female duck just sitting there. Look at them. <laughs> They're just sitting on top of the steelhead. So, okay. Well, let's walk down a bit more. You're allowed to walk all over the beach. You just can't go over there. And uh, of course, you can't you can't fish or anything, or even get near the fish. But there's a lot of them right there. Uh, the glare from the sun's making it a little hard. I mean, there's the sun. Look how bright. Let's get up this way. And I'm not going to get too close to the water because I can't swim. And if I slipped, I'd just die. So we'll get a little close. <laughs> Those ducks are just looking at me. And it is going to be windy. No way I could have a mic on this right now, though. No way. Okay. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? crazy really if you feel like you're in some other country right now when you're standing here just all these icebergs they're massive 
and they're just kind of going around the coastline here. You can see how far this stuff actually is. And, uh, just the other side of here is Canada. <laughs> so, tons of ice that's washed up. Here's all the stones off the beach that have been just pulled up in mounds from the ice. But, uh, you can see that's where the steelhead come through. That little two foot gap. That's where all them steelhead come through. They come right off. Oh, one's going to be terrible on the mic. But, just think, they know how to get here. This entire lake. And they come right to here. So that's really cool. Entire of Lake Erie. And they know exactly where to go. And they start climbing. So that's cool. <laughs> this might be a long video one shot here, but you know, this is going to be the main part of the video. I just can't get over the ice. That's crazy. Just how rough it is. Like the slush. Okay, well I can't feel my hands right now. We're gonna go up to the main head of it up there, look one more time, and we're gonna head out of here. But the steelhead are amazing. There's tons of them right now coming through. And uh, Lake Erie just looks amazing right now. So I'm gonna go up to the head of it again, and I'll see you there. Look at all the tails. <laughs> so, here's the main part where they want a lot of people to just stand and look. Uh, problem with today is there's a huge ice buildup on the dam where they jump, and also the current is extremely strong. I don't even see one steelhead there, so this water's definitely got to calm down just a tiny bit before they can really come up. So, there's just a mass pile of them here. <laughs> See, there's the ice on it, but, wow, crazy, and uh, very cold out, you can see my feet are, feet are pink, but, worth it, <laughs> so, I'm going to go grab my phone, get some pictures of here with my phone, and uh, yeah, that should be it for here for you guys, but very cool. Um, it's just awesome. You hear seagulls, you hear ducks, uh, you get to see the steelhead, and uh, you know, the ice is just crazy right now. So, yep, uh, it only happens, you know, a certain time of the year. So, right now is the prime time of it. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this part. It's really cool. Okay, guys, so I'm back in my truck, and uh, you can see the sun is going down over that way. So, I'm gonna go ahead and head out from here. And, uh, yeah, it was nice. Finally got my feet warm back up. And uh, I forgot to say, when I first left my house, I got a, what are they called? Shamrock shake. So I got a shamrock shake. They're back. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. And uh, I don't know, might stop at a fishing store or something. But I'll update you either with a, you know, me saying goodbye or however it ends. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, I just got home. Um. So you can see it's dark. <laughs> a lot of condensation there, but it's pretty dark. I can turn this on actually. Don't like show. I want to show my address. So, um, and it's zoomed in. What is going on? Okay, <laughs> there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know it was just a you know a small little trip to there. I've been driving for hours, but um, it was a small little trip. I liked it. It was definitely worth it. I lost a couple times, but it was still worth it. I tried looking for geocaches down there. I had no signal at all. So, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.